With only a few days left to kickstart the seventh edition of the Vacation Rental World Summit, I sat down to ask a couple of questions to a few speakers who'll be on our virtual stage this year. You may have seen already the pretty interesting uh, short interview I had with Simon Lehman uh, recently, and following Vanessa de Souza Lage tie on stage call for gender parity, today I'm pleased to introduce one of the ladies that will walk on our virtual stage this year. I'll have her tell us what her position is and what her responsibilities are. So please welcome Verbos Lisa Chen. Um, hello. Uh, I started at Expedia Group in 2014, working as head of global marketing and eventually became the GM of bedandbreakfast.com uh, division of Verbo. Um, I am currently the vice president of connectivity and solutions for vacation rentals and general lodging. And at the core, what we do is connect. We create and operate the connections that link our platform and brands with software providers or channel managers that you may use and ultimately link to you, our partner property managers. And this role is a fairly new role based on an evolution from the work that we did at Verbo. And really it's an acknowledgement that Expedia Group sees huge opportunity to super serve the unique needs of professional integrated property managers and to strengthen our partnerships with connectivity providers that support you, our property managers. And so now my team and I get to ensure property managers can be successful, not only on Verbo, but on Expedia's other brands like Expedia.com and Hotels.com. And I would be remiss if I didn't say that I have a passion for vacation rentals in general, because, well, um, I love to travel and, and I like the feeling of having my own space. In fact, my husband and I really fell in love with VRs when 10 years ago we quit our jobs and traveled uh, for over a year. Um, and we really wanted to immerse ourselves in local cu culture. And in fact, I am thrilled to say that when we do this session in the live q and I will hopefully be at a vacation rental near the beach. It'll be our first trip since the pandemic started. That's a great introduction. And I particularly like the part where you said that you and your husband quit your job 10 years ago and traveled for over the year, maybe because I resonate with that. Uh, in fact, I did that too, actually 25 years ago. And that decision took me happily where I am today. And I like the fact that when we do our session in a few days time, uh, you'll be at your vacation rental to the, at the beach. So coming to that, how do you think the VR industry has been affected by the roller coaster of the pandemic? You know, I think we're still learning the true impact of this and on our industry, and we are certainly not out of the woods yet. Um, it, it has been a challenging time, but we do see some really interesting um, positive things emerging. So we see a lot of popularity for vacation rentals as a great holiday choice, and we're seeing new use cases for vacation rentals emerge, things like staycations or flexcations, the, the notion of working whilst also being away from home, and then also socially distanced holidays. And so it's been a time for quick, pragmatic, traveler-friendly innovations as well. For example, tech tools like keyless or contactless entry, um, additional flexible cancellation support, cleanliness measures, all of which have long-term positive impact on the industry. What are you learning from this pandemic about travel and vacation rentals? Yeah, I think there are three things that stand out as um, being most important. Um, one is listening to travelers to ensuring to ensure that we are acknowledging and mitigating their fears. Um, listening to you and having trust in knowing that you are going to do the right thing by your travelers. And then three, by focusing on true partnership. And so really making sure that the policies and changes that we change um, doesn't break your business. And so let's look at cancellation, for example. Six months ago, who would have said or who would have thought, you know, how can we manage this? How can we manage having flexible cancellation, last minute bookings, um, refundable cancellations? And but yet everyone, we work together and here we are. Oh, and there's a very, actually, there's a very important fourth thing. And that is that we really are in this together. And I've been heartened by the things that I've seen from property managers and how they've cared for travelers and how travelers have in turn cared for property managers. And it's been wonderful to see that. Now, considering what you just said and the role played by Verbo and the other major OTAs in the industry and in this delicate phase we're all going through, what are you going to cover at the RWS this year and how can you therefore help our attendees? Yes. Um, so this is the exciting bit. Uh, this is my inaugural participation at VRWS, uh, and I'm thrilled to be a part of this important and frankly historic conference being virtual. 
And it's important that we speak together, learn together, improve together. And so with that in mind, I'm going to cover a few things. One is insights and practical tips for how you can attract today's traveler and how today's traveler has changed. And therefore, uh, what you need to be careful about in today's new environment and what you need to do differently to stand out. And I'll be sure to include some specific tips and areas to focus on. I can't wait to share this with you. So in the meantime, stay safe and talk soon. Thanks.